Hey guys, Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com, ResetCharters.com. I'm out here at the infamous Beer Can Island today. Uh, took a little tour out here, a uh, couple skis, and uh, well, actually we have uh, seven out here today, but uh, right now I have two skis hooked up to that pretty cool anchor system I showed you guys before. The umbrella anchor uh, that you can get the price has been fluctuating a lot. I, I was buying them for inside of $7 a piece, but uh, it looks like they're around $8.99 now. Anyway, under 10 bucks, <laughs> it's a pretty good deal. Uh, I, doesn't matter what variable you're talking about or thinking about, under $10, awesome deal. Um, and you can use this uh, little umbrella anchor with a regular dock line. You don't have to get these airhead uh, bungee lines that I get or the stainless steel carabiners. But, let me just show you, you can see I've got my green one there, and I've got two skis here, and it's a pretty heavy current. You can see the water flowing pretty fast. Uh, these two skis have been in this water, and the water, the water now is probably about two, two and a half feet deep right here. So this is a great shallow water anchor system. Uh, if you're in deeper water, it's going to be kind of hard uh, to bend over and screw it in and still breathe, obviously. But you can see that the current is not pulling either ski away. And we've got the big boy RXT, my OX RXT back there and my 08 RXPX here. And uh, you, like I said, you can see how fast the water is moving. So the current is pretty strong and it's keeping these skis tied down no problem. It's actually been in the water right here, the same spot, for about two hours now, and it's still as straight as it was when I put it in there. So, to all the naysayers out there, uh, on the other video, um, the biggest thing people were saying about it is, what if it were in deeper water, or what if, a strong current came through. Well, first of all, it's a shallow water anchoring system. You wouldn't use something like this in deeper water because you'd have to be underwater to screw the damn thing in. And it takes a little bit to get it screwed in all the way. Uh, and I don't even have it all the way in, but it takes a little bit to get it in there. So it's gonna be uh, a little difficult if you're submerged underwater to screw it in and not have to come up and back and up and back and get it down Anyway, long story short shallow water anchor system. That's what's important and uh, I actually had my boat here at Beer Can Island um, uh, About a week ago, and I used this same thing to hold my boat. I just is a 17 foot bow rider nothing fancy But still it held the boat in the same current that's what I'm trying to say. And the biggest benefit here is that there are two skis here being held by that same anchor, no problem at all. In fact, I'm going to push it even further. I'm gonna to try to hook up all of my skis that I take on the next tour. Uh, there should be, we usually take between six and eight skis out on every single tour. So I'm gonna to try to link them all up out here and see if it'll hold them all. So anyway, nothing fancy but a nice little seven to ten dollar piece of equipment right there and you can use a regular dock line there's no need for that bungee line per se but that's how i like to strap them together you can see i've got them strapped together with those uh stainless steel carabiners and uh if you put them in a position like this where uh they're down current they're all going to stay out there in a line and they won't you know float around and beat each other up. So that's what I like about it. Um, you could also add some sort of rigidity, I guess, to that back one. I don't know. Anyway, that umbrella anchor is primo for your shallow water anchoring system. And this is just me showing you uh, more than just my uh, GTX 300 Limited that the other video was shot around. I brought a couple of my other skis out. So we're gonna, I'm gonna give it a shot with even more skis. Uh, as soon as I have an opportunity, and I'm going to shoot a video on that as well. So, uh, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you guys listening to me babble. Have a great day, guys.